Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, 09 November. Biden confirmed on Saturday. And we have a bit of risk on here, uh, fairly sizable risk on in the overnight session. A little bit skeptical here, I have to say. Um, a lot of you are asking me why I'm skeptical. COVID is the number one reason why, you know, Europe is in this terror, in a terror. People are terrified here. COVID is now rampant uh, all over Europe. Um, and it's, it's different than it was in March. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just different. And if the pattern holds, um, this next sort of wave in the U.S., which usually has trailed Europe, by you know three to five weeks uh, it's going to get started in the next couple of weeks the US is not prepared for this I wasn't prepared for this many of my friends have COVID now um, and I don't know um, I feel like too much positive news I mean we got rid of the troll in the White House and that's great but the situation on the ground in America, I would say, is uh, far from excellent. We'll see about stimulus, how quickly that can get passed. But we also have to just see what, what that does, right? I mean, these restaurants are not going to open. The hospitality industry is going to remain closed. We're going to go into the Christmas season in lockdown in America. It's going to drive people insane. Uh, I see some problems out there, so we're we're fading a little bit of risk up here. We talked about waiting for the first red bar. Here we are. This is the first red bar. Bearish engulfing here, close to the all-time highs. Um, so here we are. Um, you can fade this, you know, between sort of 55 and 60 now, and either leave a stop above 66. Or if you want to sort of feather into the all-time highs, um, we're not far from them, right? 35.86, uh, with the idea that the first time up at 86 uh, should be resistance. Um, but we're short here. We'll see what happens. A lot of stuff happened over overnight. Also, Turkey. Um, you know, the son-in-law, who is the finance minister, is out, so the market's taking this pretty well, pretty good vol. Uh, we've traded down to 30 th 33. Wow, 33. Now we're back at 40. You see this cluster of bars up here. If this wasn't dollar turkey, you would say, wow, this is a strong sell as soon as it gets through these lows. Those who are front running the sell got stopped here at 58. It's kind of a classic uh, professional patience setup. Um, we are not short dollar turkey. We tried some shorts up at 48 a couple days ago uh, with a quick cut. This is not our forte. Uh, the firm we work for doesn't really encourage dollar turkey trading because it's a fucking banana republic. Um, and overnight rates can be tricky and blah 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 so I don't really trade much of it but uh, if I did trade it I'd be short based on these candlesticks based on the story it's a little bit a little bit trickier anyway um, euro as we talked about there's just 3.1 yards at, at the figure uh, there's no data today is this gonna be sort of 70 10 for the day I don't know. Um, we're not trading around an option expiry. We don't have a euro position. Uh, but certainly um, this high right here, which is sort of important, 119.17 looks to hold. So like maybe between 05 and 17, you could sell some or at least trim longs with the idea that this option is going to cause some magnetic properties cable popped through 77 but with no real drama up to 93 um, no energy up here 
it's bullish on the charts but I'm skeptical we're square dollar Swiss we don't care um, dollar yen we're fading this uh, we'll be fading this up to sort of 104 um, 20 so you don't want to you don't want to take the big guns out here at 50 but this is a fade sort of between 80 and 20 104 80 105 20 Euro yen, no real, um, no real interest. Sterling yen, also no real interest. Dollar max got smacked, smacked the pony. <clears throat> we are no longer short dollar max, but it, coming to this first uh, support point, which is will be this the equivalent of this high, um, 20, 20.25.60. Uh, the low has been 2036, so we still got a ways to go. If you're short dollar max still, I just all I can do is applaud. Well done, great patience. Uh, we are not; we're just watching at the moment. Aussie pops higher um, through this sort of 88, 98 area where we saw a lot of resting offers. Uh, is this going to survive up here? I'm not so sure. Not so sure it is. So if you're long Aussie, I would say be careful. Euro Aussie. Bull. Oh, no, didn't quite bullish in golf. Had a pretty bullish day. Um, it's not doing a lot. Certainly, weirdly, it's not going down anymore as hard with stocks here. So that's kind of a weird little canary. Aussie yen. Uh, we're playing on the short side. Getting a little bit squeezed here. Uh, but we're still with this and we think this is the best FX horse for a possible turn in risk and dollar CAD this is an important chart if you like risk on and you wanna trade FX this is your chart so 06 has been the low this low here uh, is 94 from 01 September these lows here are 51 you don't want to get too too excited in dollar cad until the hockey players get in from Toronto um, but core short dollar cad if you if you like risk on core short dollar cad uh, is interesting uh, we're not going to touch this until Toronto gets in but it's a very interesting chart gold shits bid it's going to struggle now. It's going to grind. The easy money, I guess, was this bar here on the 5th. Um, but gold's bid. Don't see any reason why gold uh, will come back anytime soon. Um, this sort of weak dollar theme that Biden brings to the table, um, I think, is here, here to stay uh, for the next sort of couple months at least. Bitcoin also bid bang 16,000 the other day down to 14 too. Jesus it's Monday so you're going to dollar cost average some Bitcoin even though it's 15,005 uh, do your job buy a little bit of Bitcoin and um, you know we're bullish this I don't know what to say it's not a currency it's it's basically a tech it's a tech stock uh, could be considered a store of value sure blah 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 um, does the distributed ledger and blockchain technology change the financial world forever yes it does when does it happen no fucking clue but it's gonna happen and you can see it you can kind of feel it's getting a little bit of momentum now Finally, um, crude, no idea, very skeptical. This might be resistance up here, 4084, that's not really useful today. No idea, crude, why are we at um, 3815? I guess it's risk on, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, we're fading dollar yen today, we're still short Aussie yen. We're skeptical of this risk trade. We we actually sold some on this hour. We'll see how that goes. Um,
trading now at 53. Um, we shall see. We closed 3,500. Is this gap going to get filled? Boy, the bulls hope not. Um, we shall see. But here we are. We've done the first red bar. Uh, the low on that bar was 55. Now we're trading at 52 and three quarters. <clears throat> this chart is delayed. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, short Aussie yen selling fading dollar yen and short ES gulp. Sort of contrarian, but we'll see how that goes. Whatever you have on, I wish you the best of luck. Be disciplined. Be professional. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.